I'm just going to get this out of the way right now. Waluigi is the greatest character in the Mario universe and it's a shame he hasn't got the recognition he deserves. That, that's it. That's all I want to say on the matter. Now on with the review of WarioWare Smooth Moves on the Nintendo Wii. WarioWare Smooth Moves was released in 2007. Developed and published by Nintendo, this was the fifth game in the franchise and it was the first and only to appear on the Wii. Amazingly, there is a plot. Wario has had his food stolen, and while he's chasing to receive it, he finds a magic wand, which amazingly looks like a Wiimote. This sets the scene for the game, as Wario and various other characters solve puzzles and get high scores. There's nothing more complicated than that, really. The game was showcased at a 2006 E3 convention, and the game's developers thought holding the Wii remote in only one way was very limiting, so they came up with various ways of using the controller in the games. And these are very unique, some of them. These are explained to the player in a very upmarket way, explaining why the need is there, and it also shows to the player before every mini game is played. And when I say mini games, I mean mini. The games only last between 5 to 10 seconds each, so fast reactions and remembering how to hold your equipment helps, who were misses. Make sure your Wiimote is in the line of sight with the sensor bar and that you know what you're doing because you don't have time to think. You've got four lives in each round of games. Lose all these four and it's game over. The game also uses the speaker built into the Wiimote to add to a sense of environment as well. I do like it when the games utilise this feature and it's a welcome addition. Some of the games go from the very easy to the very difficult. Personally, I prefer the Mario Party type of mini games to this frantic way of playing, but that's just my personal preference. The games on the Nintendo DS play very well, and given there's no multiplayer game from the get-go, that does limit this game's appeal. You do unlock a multiplayer mode, however, a little later in the game, but this should have been available from the very beginning. The Nintendo is spot for choice when it comes to its multiplayer party games. The aforementioned Mario Party is a prime example, and this game kind of sits in limbo. It's a fun game for a short blast, but the Wario franchise could have done so much more. There's nothing much different to the DS games here. For example, it doesn't use a nunchuck, so it's a Wiimote only game as well, which is a shame. They could have done so much with this and the scope to use an add-on as well. The reviews for the game were very strong. IGN gave it 8.2 out of 10 and GameSpy gave it 4.5 out of 5. However, although the game is frantic and has got some nice touches, in my opinion you're better off getting any of the Mario Party games, especially the GameCube ones. Mario Party 5 is amazing, but more on that a little later in the channel. So that's all for the 50th game review here on Noob Games Review. Thanks for everybody that watches and subscribing, and I will see you next time for the next review.